What's up guys, Marshall Breakdowns here. Today I'm going to be breaking down some of the exchanges in the 1995 wrestling match between the late wrestling legend Dave Schultz and his Iranian opponent. Schultz was a six-time medalist at the World Championships and won the 1984 Olympics at the 74 kilograms weight class. There's a lot to be taken away from studying Dave Schultz. The first thing to take note of here is that Dave is a left leg lead, while his Iranian opponent has a right leg lead. In striking or MMA, this would be called an open stance situation. The implications in wrestling, though, are a little bit different. Because the lead leg's the penetration leg, the scenario narrows down the easiest leg entries to only a few. The single leg on the opponent's lead leg is much easier and more available than, say, a high crotch on the opponent's lead leg. You'll notice this immediately in the way they're faking. The fakes are trying to sell a head inside single leg to the lead leg. The Iranian's gonna use this threat though here in a second to set up a different attack. Notice how heavy the Iranian is staying on Schultz's head when he hand fights. Circling, moving, then watch. This time, he fakes the collar tie and shoots a high crotch to Dave's back leg, just as Dave's setting his lead foot back down to the mat. This gives him a half a second extra time to get deep in on that high crotch where they end up in the crackdown position. After they reset, the Iranian tries the exact same shot again. This time Dave's ready for it though, and he circles away from the leg. This causes the Iranian to overextend where Dave drags him down to a front headlock and pushes him to the edge. Later in the match, the Iranian uses the same fake collar tie setup to hit a head inside single leg. Because Dave still has his opposite hand tied up though, the Iranian's only way to score is to drive Dave to the edge of the mat for a push out. Right here is where Dave starts to get his own offense going. He fights hard for this two-on-one. Then watch how as soon as the opponent's planting his rear foot, Dave drops to a head inside single leg. Instead of stepping his trail leg up where he could get cradled and rolled, he pivots it up and stands up. From here, he hits a shoulder roll finish, forcing the Iranian to plant his hands. Notice only when the Iranian plants his hands on the mat does Dave release the leg and lock around the waist. After Dave scores several exposure points against him, the Iranian tries that fake collar single one more time. This time, Dave slides down and away and gets a strong whizzer. He hips in and whizzers down so hard the Iranian face plants, and he's forced to limp arm out to avoid damaging his arm. This gives Dave a Merkel position on the Iranian and earns him the takedown. So, what can we take away from this? First, we saw how different stances determine which leg attacks are more readily available. Second, we saw some setups to both the high crotch and the head inside single, from the fake collar tie the Iranian used to the two-on-one single Schultz hit. Lastly, we saw how Schultz used his wizard to make his opponent so uncomfortable that he abandoned the takedown and ended up giving up his own. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Leave any suggestions for future videos in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and good luck training.